Hey, what's up everybody? Austin Neary here with Dreamcatcher Guides and Dreamcatcher's Fish and Supply. Just got off the water or just getting done with our day. It was an absolutely epic day on the water. I've been wanting to make this video now for quite some time uh, just because I, I know that top water fishing, one, is fun, but two, there's definitely some intricate details that go into top water fishing and top water fishing extremely efficient. I want to break down why you choose what lures um, and what conditions, uh, rod setup, line choice, and everything. First off, the most important thing that you're ever gonna face on the water is matching the hatch, right? So what's matched the hatch? The main bait forge that is in the lake, blueback herring is the main forge on this lake, August 1st and the herring are still spawning up here. So we're still on a great topwater bite. That's just the deal. Um, so with that, I try to take the conditions in to consideration. So secondly is the water turbidity, how much water is moving on top of the water. It's the summertime. We've got a bunch of goons out, uh, a bunch of goober heads, a bunch of people out here riding big wakeboard boats and there's giant waves. Uh, we have a little bit of wind. But in the morning time, I like to start out with something real silent because they don't need, the bass doesn't need to hear something extravagant. When, when the water's nice and calm, they see your bait, it, it needs to be more natural. As waves progress uh, and as wind progresses, I like to switch something that makes a little more noise. Uh, I really like a Duo Realis pencil. Uh, when the water gets really choppy and the waves start getting really big, it has a very discernible knock in it. Uh, another one of my favorites is a chug and spook. And I like to make a lot of commotion. I talk a lot of, a lot about draw power and the power to draw fish. On these lakes, they're super clear lakes. So what happens is naturally the fish hunt with their eyes. So when you throw something that's really bright, so herring are naturally very chrome. Um, when you throw something that's chrome, you're gonna attract their eye and then noise is gonna attract their uh, horizontal line there. Um, and that's the big deal is you want to create it. You want to throw a bait that has a lot of draw power when draw power is needed. I love throwing top water in the middle of the day. I think without question, one of the biggest misconceptions is fish don't eat top water during the day. Well, you just watched the video. You just watched the footage. That is obviously a lie. Uh, in fact, I think you can catch bigger fish because bigger fish are naturally and more instinctual. They eat, they get big because they eat a lot and they eat a lot because they go hunting a lot. And when they're hunting, they're not looking for something slow. In this lake, they're looking for something fast. So that's a big, big key. So if there's more chop on the water, more ripple, more waves, I like to throw something that's got a big pulse to it. If it's calmer, I like like a PH Customs Walker or W Walk, one of the ones that's real silent, like a wood bait, a Mike Buca balsa. Uh, I like the ones that are silent because in that calmer water, you don't need something making a lot of commotion. But when the water's choppier, it definitely helps them find it and they'll come and tackle it. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is rod, rod and reel setup. Uh, I throw mine with CXX P-Line, uh, 10 pound. I know a lot of people like 12. Uh, I know a lot of people like 15. This stuff is unbelievable how strong it is. Um, I, you know, we landed a six pound smallmouth today, landed uh, a couple three pound largemouth, one four and a half pound largemouth. This stuff is just unbeatable. Uh, I tie a double San Diego jam knot on it. I throw it on a six nine medium heavy ducket. What's really unique about this rod is it's got a, got a kind of a moderate tip, but a solid backbone. It's just a fast action rod. Uh, I can take this thing with a Daiwa. This is such a key. I get people all the time that say, what's your favorite reel? A Daiwa will outcast any reel on the water. I do not care. I can take this thing half spooled with line and outcast just about every reel on the market. Uh, this is a Tatula Type R 8 1 to 1. I like something fast because once again, they're chasing herring. Herring are a fast forage. And I like to burn that bait a lot of times. And when I hook them, I want them in the boat. I always like to hear people say, oh, I like to play with them. I said, I'll play with them in the live well. So the other thing is, uh, I oftentimes, so this is a right-handed retrieve reel. My other rod is the same rod, 6'9", and I do a left-handed retrieve reel with the same rod. This is something for people that you want to take your game to the next level. You have to be able to use both hands. This technique is extremely tiring. These are also my jerkbait setups. I put fluorocarbon on them in the wintertime and jerkbait. Uh, I love jerkbait. It's one of my favorite techniques. I like this rod. They keep them pinned got enough backbone to get them in 10 pound cxx this is a fuego 8 one to one diwa that one's a tatula type r it's got the t-wing system unbelievable reels unbelievable rods uh once again so this one's a i'm a skimmer so this one's a little more silent so calm water i love a skimmer a little bit of chop if there's a little bit of chop i like a skimmer once it gets to a lot of chop i like a big chrome one knock or something 
Uh, when we filmed the Power Pole commercial there last year, we were on Kentucky Lake, monster rollers, and me and Lance Ricketts got on an awesome top water bite, throwing big one knockers and big waves. And uh, you got to see a lot of that today. There's a lot of people out on the water, wakeboard boats. We're throwing these one knocking baits, getting some big bass. But that's how you choose your top water. Match the hatch, and then depending on how much wave turbidity there is on top of the water, it's going to be dependent on what top water you throw. Something silent or something loud and knocking. I hope these tips work. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Swing by Dreamcatcher's Fish and Supply. We've got a plethora of the best lures on the market for the mountain lakes right here in western North Carolina. That's 21 Steeple Road Silva on your way to every lake in the Smoky Mountains. I hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys enjoy this footage. Thanks for watching.